I've now got this room at the West Building almost all set up the way I want it. Just a few more things I might want to take take out to the storage unit or reorganize. But I've got the fan, the deal fan here on this cart. And then behind it I've got some radios on this shelf. These are some Alltech Lansing speakers. I, I actually got them quite a while ago. And this one has got a Rockford Fosgate car woofer in it. Both of these had woofer foam degradation and someone replaced this one already. And the other one still had a bad woofer in it so I was able to replace it with a Sony woofer that I got uh, from, from a garage sale. Here's the Clavinova. This is Organist 1982's Clavinova. I have to try and make a demonstration video of it sometime. This TV is the same model as the one we had in the uh, in the kitchen when I was a kid, and that that one is still at my parents' house in the attic. Although the picture tube is just about totally worn out. We bought it at Fisher Big Wheel in, uh, in Streetsboro, Ohio, and I think 1988 or so, and it was, I think it was $99. But this is not that exact one, but the same model that I got at the thrift store recently, and it has a good picture tube. Must not have got quite as much use. Here's a Harman Kardon stereo receiver, model AVR310, and uh, this was from Organist 1982's parents. They, they upgraded to a new stereo receiver, so they gave us this one. And you can see you can see my reflection of my hand in there, I guess. Let me see if I can kind of get to the side of it. But right now I'm picking up a public radio station, and it really does pretty well. It's in FM stereo now, I'm getting some noise, so I just put it to FM mono. It's designed for use with surround sound, and I don't have surround speakers hooked up in here now. Maybe sometime I'll get it set up to where I can use the surround features. This speaker is the one where I put the Sony woofer in it. And it's not quite as high powered of a woofer as I think originally would have come in this, but it's certainly better than a woofer with bad foam. I saved the old woofer to do a refoam job on it eventually. Here's a late 1940s Magnavox that I got a couple years ago, but I just had it had it kind of in storage until now. It's going to need all new capacitors on it though. And it's got the tuning eye. It's got the provision for the FM tuner above there. And the record player has uh, 33 and 78 speeds. The one that's similar to this that I have at home is an earlier model, which is just 78. And it's got two 12-inch field call speakers in there. And here's the Tascam reel-to-reel. -reel. This does work, but I haven't tried it in a while. And here's the Magnavox Phono. And I need to get the uh, get this Philco chassis off of here and start working on it. And there's the Scott cabin and I still need to work on getting the Scott radio going and the compact RCA TV.